Last week I was out at the marina and I saw this Catalina 27 for sale. My wife and I decided to purchase it and by the end of the day we owned it. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. Overall condition uh, doesn't need very much work at all. One thing it does need is an air conditioning unit. We're in Texas and it gets very hot a lot here so that was going to be the main concern. So I had installed a mini split. Hey everybody, I just got out to my boat and it's about, it was 100 degrees all day and it's probably like 90 degrees right now and this is on full blast. This is a 9000 BTU mini split ductless AC from Pioneer. It's a 33 sear. So it ends up being a very efficient unit. Um, I'm hoping to run it on solar and a battery bank in the near future here. Um, Part of the price of having such a, an efficient unit is a really large outdoor unit, unfortunately. So that's what you got to deal with with something like this. But the way that it works on the inside and how silent it is, to me, it it makes up for how large and ugly this thing is. Um, I'm gonna refine the mounting system, of course. Right now, it's just ratchet strapped down, but. I got it in last weekend, gave it a try. It's been sitting for a week on dehumidifier mode and now it's back down to 69 degrees to get her down really low. So my wife and daughter won't be uncomfortable for the evening here. So um, I'll show y'all how I did it and I'm sure I'll have more videos of showing y'all how it ends up working out in the, the long run because everything's really cool the first week you have it, but after you live with it for six months or something then you then you know if it's if it's good or not so we'll see what happens here These units come pre-charged from the factory with enough refrigerant in the actual outdoor unit that it has enough to fill the lines and the indoor unit. But before you fill the lines, you need to vacuum out the lines in the indoor unit. It has a little access port on the, I believe they call it the gas supply line and not the liquid one. You hook up your vacuum pump with gauges just like you do a car or any other AC unit vacuum it down to 30 make sure it stays to 30 for 30 minutes and after that you can go ahead and fill the lines with the valves that are already on the base of the lines it's a really simple unit to do you run your lines you bolt everything in place you vacuum your system out and you're good to go That was a long couple of hours, wasn't it, Ruby? Well, we got it done. Um, Ruby helped immensely. She was pushing all those buttons and switches back here and just having a good time. I'm just kidding. Her mom was watching her. Um, but we got the mini split installed. It's sitting at 74 right now. I had kicked her down to 69 for a while. Um, my drain hoses are impromptu right now. But the important thing is I got this thing done up before it got to 100 degrees today. We're in Texas and it's starting to get 100 degrees and some days it's gonna be 100 degrees at night and at day. So uh, I figure it's maybe like the tropics or something for some of you people that are on a on, a, on an ocean doing the real deal. So um, anyway, yeah, that's my mini split. Um, I'll give y'all an update when I get it working on solar and the battery bank and all that good stuff and see how see how many amps it draws and, and how much uh, power it really does use. So I'm excited to, to try that out. So, all right, give me a like and subscribe. And um, Ruby would really appreciate it if you did that. Right, Ruby?
Thanks for watching, guys. Baby on a boat. A baby on a boat. Baby, baby, baby. Baby on a boat. Baby on a boat. Baby on a boat. Little bitty baby on a boat.